Back in West Palm Beach, scoreless ball game as we head bottom two. Coda Glover joins me now. Coda, thank you for the time. Now, word on the street is you love stupid questions. So how do you feel about some stupid questions coming from me right now? Oh, you, you know you know better than to ask me stupid questions. I, I don't like that stuff, so if we can stay away from that, we'll be in good shape. All right, I'll do my best, but I make no promises. Now, last year, what a run for you. Your first professional season, first full professional season, and you make it from high A to the big leagues. How do you, now that 2016 is in the rearview mirror, how do you kind of reflect on all that last year was for you? I mean, last year's in the past. You know, we're at, we're at a new start now. Uh, my focus is just staying healthy and, uh, you know, seeing what I can do for the team this year. What were the things, if we are able to go back just for a second, that you maybe your, your biggest lessons that you learned from the, your first time up at the big league level and how you try and build on that going forward? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, you know, whenever I'm having trouble with my body and stuff like that, I had that hip issue and things like that. I need to learn when to shut it down and, you know, what's what's too much, what's not enough, stuff like that. That's what I've learned from guys like Strasburg and, and Scherzer and, and those guys. They've really helped me in that department. And, and uh, you know, that's that's part of the matura maturation process is uh, just being able to do that and, and learn from that and go forward. What does that stint up here with this club last year in September do to maybe make you feel more comfortable this time around, even in spring and as we get towards the regular season? Yeah, it definitely makes you more comfortable once you've kind of got a taste of it and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I just I, I really I don't I don't feel good about how I ended last year. And that's that's more my focus this year is, is better than that. So if I if I can do better than last year, then I'll be happy. How do you approach this spring? A lot of people talking about you working, you know, meaningful innings towards the back of games, but you know, it's it's still kind of new for you as part of this organization. How do you kind of approach this spring overall? I mean, I'm not going to worry about all that stuff. You know, there's been talk about the closers' role and, and things like that. That's not my department. Uh, whatever they want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm here to win. You know, I'm I'm here to help the ball club. So that's that's my focus. Fans got to know you a little bit down the stretch last season, but you're still kind of new to a lot of people in D.C. How would you describe, we've got a lot of characters in this bullpen, how would you describe your personality and what you're bringing to this bullpen in terms of, uh, you know, maybe little bits of character that you can drop as well? Well, you know, the, the whole, uh, everybody thinks, you know, I'm this mean, tough guy and stuff, but I'm not, you know. I do, I'm just here to have fun. I, I like to goof around just like anybody else. And, and it's, there's definitely some characters in the bullpen, but you wouldn't want it any other way. Thanks for the time, Coda. We appreciate it. Bob, back up.